Hello dear friend, in today's video we will talk about Pluto and love or how Pluto affects our relationships and our closest romantic connections with other people. First of all, let's define how you may find out or in which cases Pluto is really affecting your personal life. Some options are Pluto in your 7th or 5th house. Pluto ruling those houses. This would mean having Scorpio on, this, uh, on the cusp of 7th or 5th house. Or Venus in Scorpio. Or Venus in an aspect with Pluto. Pluto being in one of those houses, as I said, also in 7th or 5th house. Or the ruler of those houses in an aspect with Pluto. So there are many possibilities uh, through which Pluto can affect your personal life and relationships. But I want to bring your attention also to something very important that even if in your birth chart Pluto doesn't affect your relationships, it's possible that in prediction at certain point it will. For example, in your progressions, let's say Venus is having an aspect with Pluto or in the transits, transit Pluto moves to your seventh house or is triggering the ruler of your seventh house. So pay attention to that. It's very important if in the natal chart Pluto is somehow related to your love life and on top of that at certain point also in prediction Pluto is triggering the same area that would be a very strong connection and those are the most intense time times when you will feel this energy and if you don't have Pluto uh, in any way affecting your personal life in the natal chart but in prediction it happens you will still feel it, but it won't be as powerful, but you will still feel the influence. So this video can help many people, uh, but especially those who are searching for some answers because in their birth chart, Pluto is triggering their fifth or seventh house or their Venus. So what happens? What can you experience? And, um, the most important thing which I would like to talk about is coming from mythology, actually. In mythology, Pluto is presented by Hades. And there is a whole myth, a whole story about Hades and Persephone. And that's so important. This story is basically representing one of the possible scenarios of how Pluto can affect relationships. So if you're interested, you might want to find it, read it, or learn more about this myth. Uh, I will present it very briefly. Basically, Persephone is uh, a very pure girl. She's very attached to her mother. This is also very important. So um, she has a a too intense kind of like codependent relationship with her mother so bringing this thing to your own life also notice that if you have this type of very close attachment to your mother you might go through some kind of similar scenario doesn't need to be as dramatic as uh, the story of persephone but in some way it's possible that a man, that, that of course applies especially to women, so yeah, that a man can come into your life and can break this bond. And uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing, actually. Uh, the truth is that Hades, Pluto, is making Persephone, is turning her into a woman. Yes, he's kidnapping her, uh, to the underworld, he's not letting her go. Uh, in some of the stories, they say that 
he's raping her uh, but eventually she turn he turns her into a woman so especially for women who have a very strong attachment to their mother and from astrology perspective that would be especially relevant if your moon has an aspect with pluto then it's possible that there could be a dramatic relationship which will kind of separate you from your mother in some way and at the end of the myth there is balance so again i won't go through the whole story and the details but eventually they make a compromise so persephone will be half of the time with her husband hades pluto in the underworld and the other half of the time the other half of the year above the ground with her mother so basically we have a happy end of this myth of this story finding the balance and i think that with pluto this is also essential we might go through some kind of dramatic or even dark phase representing the phase when she was kidnapped and literally separated from the external world and uh, if pluto is somehow related to your personal life you might go through such a phase uh, like a, an intense relationship which will kind of separate you from the whole world which will make you so uh, dedicated committed that you will need really this kind of like space and uh, you may feel like you're detaching from the outside world or nothing else matters or you know it's like taking your whole energy that's very common for pluto uh, pluto really is the most intense the most powerful planet and also it is connected to some kind of big general um, archetypes and themes which are affecting us on a subconscious level so it's very difficult to feel like you are in control when pluto triggers you and it's possible that when those relationships happen in your life you may also feel like you're not in control uh, for some people this leads to the opposite like uh, as a compensation they actually try to control things a lot their partner um, or how things will happen but in the root like very deep actually the feeling is like i don't have control that's why some people want to have more of it but control is really one of the very important themes in relationships when pluto is triggering this area um this reminds me by the way if you want to learn more about relationships and astrology um, i have a whole training on this you can uh, sign up for that and watch it at any time it's already available so check the links uh, below and um, yeah in this training we talk about generally how to interpret relationships synastry compatibility all of that and uh, when you find that pluto is triggering your personal life and relationships um, you might feel like you are going through an intense transformation like through this relationship you are being reborn the truth is that at first it may feel like you are dying at first it may feel like you are losing yourself or you're losing control or it's very very deep and intense but eventually all of this is happening because you're supposed to be transformed just like persephone from the pure innocent naive girl to becoming a woman and finding this balance um, this solution for persephone to be half of the time under the ground half of the time above the ground also symbolizes how we should be connected both with our consciousness and subconsciousness we shouldn't block 
one of those. If we um, block the subconsciousness, it will take full control over us. And it may lead to fears, uh, paranoia, obsessions. If we block the consciousness, we may also feel like we are losing ourselves and we are detaching from reality. So the idea is to find the balance, but not to suppress the subconscious or the conscious energy that comes from this. So transformation, it's absolutely essential. Um, it's possible uh, some of the dark sides of Pluto also to feel disempowered by the partner or if there are challenging aspects sometimes those could be abusive relationships or when it's extreme there could even be some kind of violence including sexual um, sexual violence uh, that's like the darkest side um, the more positive side of pluto is to be attracted by strong and powerful people People who may also be quite dominant, uh, but people who really have some power, for example, high social status or important positions or people that can really uh, empower you as well. So with Pluto, we have all of the shades and uh, basically, yeah, extreme things are possible. Uh, it's possible that your partner can be very strong, uh, very powerful, and he may also kind of like share their resource with you and help you to move faster with them. But it's possible that there could also be destructive energies because the truth is that Pluto can be very destructive. And um, it's up to us, like this is very personal, how you will connect and experience this energy because as i said it can really be something extreme um, jealousy jealousy is another theme that is uh, very important for pluto and we have options it's either you who can be jealous of your partner or you might attract a partner who will be very jealous of you and uh, the truth is that at different points of life we may switch roles but in every case like in all of those scenarios the truth is that this energy is somewhere within you you might project it on the partner and in this case they will play the role of the jealous one but if you are in such a relationship it means that you have this energy within you that's it so take responsibility for that accept this in yourself and try to find it, try to connect to this energy. That's how you transform it. That's how you can get out of such negative scenarios, if that's too much. Uh, because sometimes there is like, a, I would say, kind of healthy level of jealousy, which just makes you feel cherished and important. But obviously, things can get very extreme to the point that, you know, people try to control each other, there is no trust and yeah all of the drama is happening so yeah with pluto we really need to find the balance and um, to dig deeper into ourselves because very often there are deep things that come from the subconscious that affect this area of our life the area which is triggered by pluto basically so lots of internal work um, if you learn to work with energies this can also help you a lot to transform this within yourself and of course it will affect positively your relationships um, something else which i have also seen in my practice when pluto is very very connected to our personal life we may also try to avoid this area like internally it can create a blockage because there could be a fear fear of losing yourself fear of 
you know, losing the control. And it's not necessarily something you're consciously aware of. But if Pluto really is affecting your personal life and you struggle with finding a partner, like really you haven't had a partner for years, then you really need to work with that. You need to look into that. Um, it's very possible that internally you have a barrier because it feels scary. It feels like you don't have control there. Something dangerous may happen because sometimes Pluto may really feel like dangerous energy because it's so powerful, because it's a huge resource. So um, in some cases, that's how it may manifest. Um, nothing happening in this area. You might feel like you want something to happen, but internally this fear can block things. So this is also very important for people who struggle with finding a partner. Um, another thing with Pluto is about betrayal and pain and forgiveness. Very often, Pluto can bring some kind of painful experience. And the lesson is to learn to let this go and to forgive. And it's not easy. Uh, when Pluto is affecting our personal life, especially if you also have other indications, for example, lots of planets in fixed signs or strong Saturn or strong Earth energy, generally, if it's difficult for you to let things go, uh, you might get stuck into some kind of pain. Pain that you might have experienced in the past or even pain that comes from your ancestors. But to be stuck in some kind of emotional state, that's very typical for Pluto. Especially, again, if you have felt betrayed or um, lied or, you know, if objectively your partner has done something wrong with you. If you want to move on, you need to release this. And that's your job, not the ex-partner or the current partner or the potential new partner. First, you need to release that. You need to let this go. You need to heal this. And only then you will be able to find a fulfilling relationship. Because when we learn our lessons, we don't need to repeat the same scenarios. So if you have, let's say, Pluto in seventh house, and you have had such a dramatic, difficult relationship, it doesn't mean that it will always be like that. If you learn your lesson, if you allow yourself to get through this transformation, if you heal yourself, that's crucially important, then you, you're growing and your relationships might be completely different. You will still have Pluto in seventh house, but it can work in a different way. So that's very important um, that... We can grow, we can develop, we can evolve. And with that, also, the way we experience the energy of the planets also changes. And yeah, we are not trapped to repeat the same scenarios. If we resist the lessons, chances are they will repeat until we do, until we master them. So... Pluto and relationships, you need to be strong. You need to find your own power. You need to find the balance. You need to be open also to explore your dark side. That's another thing extremely important about Pluto because if you resist to look into that, you will project it and your partner will bring to you everything that you are afraid of seeing, admitting, experiencing, or transforming. So working with your very own shadow, with the dark sides, with the things you don't like to admit, you don't like to see, 
That's extremely important. And that's how you change things and how you improve your relationships. Maturing, again, especially for women and the connection with the mother, or if they tend to have some codependent relationships, also very important to work on that. And yeah, opening up for your own strength and power. So that's in general what you can expect when Pluto affects your personal life and what you should work on, what can help you change things for the better. Again, if you would like to learn more about relationship astrology and synastry, there is a whole training on that. It's very practical. It's very uh, oriented on examples and how we use the knowledge with real charts. So I think that it can really help you to understand things better. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video.